So today I'm going to get you up and running with RetroArch and specifically Philips CDI. So I did a standalone emulator setup guide on CDI and that was titled CDI MU. I uploaded that a few months ago and I thought I'd check this out on RetroArch. So today we're going to be using a core called Same CDI. I'm going to get you putting your files into the correct places, how to run games and also take a look at file extensions. So check this video out. Okay, so first things first, as I always say, if you like what you see in today's video, hit notifications and also subscribe to my channel, Just Jamie, so you get content as I release it. I mainly cover Retrobat, Launchbox, Batacera, and occasionally RetroArch as well as a range of different standalone emulation videos. So first things first, then we're going to look at the files that we need to actually get our games up and running. So we're going to look at files. And the files we need for this, for RetroArch, for using this core, is going to be CDI BIOS, CDI Mono 1, and CDI Mono 2. And just be warned, these need to be as they are in zipped, compressed, zipped format. So back out there, and the games I'm going to be using are in a .chd file extension. Now, same core says it only supports .isos or .chds. So if you have a chance of converting your disks into .chd file extension, do that because it's also going to save you room as .chds are slightly smaller than .iso images. So with that done then, what we're going to do is just go into RetroArch, right click on the shortcut, open file location, and if we just scroll up, we're going to come across system. And inside system, I'm going to right click and create a new folder and just simply call this one same underscore CDI. And once you've created that folder, create another one inside, right click new folder and just type this one BIOS and open up the BIOS folder. So we're going to head back over to the BIOS file. So what I'm going to do is just drag each one of these into that same CDI BIOS folder that I've just created. So that's that part done. That's very simple to do. So next thing I'm going to do is just open up RetroArch and actually download the same CDI core. So under main menu, just go to online updater and core downloader. And start from the bottom, it's just easier. And we're looking for Philips CDI. Everything's in alphabetical order. And as you can see, I've already got this one installed and downloaded. Those on RetroWatch, which are downloaded and installed, will have a hashtag. So just simply do that and back out and back out again. Now, let's just see if our games are running. So to run our CDI games, which are in .chd file extension, we're going to go to load content. And my games are located on my desktop. So it's going to be C drive. And if I scroll down to find my desktop, it's going to be under users, Jamie, and desktop. And my games are located here in my games folder that I created before this video. And here's my games. So we're going to start off checking out Hotel Mario. And here's our cores, which is suggesting. So obviously, we're going to want to use the Philips CDI core. And just enter and that's going to boot up your cdi game now just remember that not all cdi games are going to work so if you can't get games booting up there's a good chance it's not supported and once we're on this screen i'm using my playstation 3 controller i'm going to just say x on that to enter into the game the screen just see is the bio screen how very nice Whoops. <laughs> 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 So 
So if I just exit out of that, what I'm going to do is show you some video settings. So if we go into core options, first of all, what we're going to do is just scroll down to resolution, which I love playing with in my videos. Now, this one technically can go up to 4K, uh, which is 3840 by 2160. So let's try that and back out and into the game again. So quick menu, resume. <laughs> As you can see, not a great deal of difference. So what we're going to do next then is change the aspect ratio of this. And we're going to attempt to put this into 16 by 9. So to do this, we're going to go to settings, video, and scroll down to scaling, aspect ratio. You can now change the way this looks. So I'm going to try for a 16 by 9. And as we see in the background, this is now stretched. And I'm also going to go to integer scaling and turn this one on. So it's going to make that image look smaller, but it's going to give it a lot more clarity. So let's back out of this and go to main menu, quick menu and resume. <laughs> So as you can see, the color is now improved and it just looks a lot better than it originally did in the 4x3. Well, I think it does anyway. So what we're going to do next, whilst we're in quick menu, is go down to controls, port 1 controls, and always make sure that device type for CDI games are set to RetroPad. So we can now import content as we can see CDI is working. So what I'm going to do is import content. We're going to go to content directory and search for my games, which are obviously in my C drive. And so that's in users, Jamie, desktop, and my CDI games are in games. And I'm going to scan this directory and go right to the bottom of manual scan and press start scan and back out. And as we can see now, on the side here, we have games, and this has got my CDI games inside. So let's just boot up Zelda, the one, the Gamelon, and be prepared to be blown away. This game is a masterpiece. So run, and current core CDI. So you can move this cursor around, but it doesn't really serve much purpose. I'm just using my D-pads for this, but I'm going to just hit play CDI. Conklin is under attack by the evil. So as you can see, that game is a masterpiece and it's easily held as one of the best Zelda games ever released. 
So that's it for my Retro Arch and Philips CDI setup guide today. Like I said at the start of my video, if you like what you see in today's video, hit notifications and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on retro emulation content that I release every day. Also follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.